Hey guys, I usually don't make a video like this, but I wanted to make this video talking about The Seventh Seal. I watched this movie last night and it struck a chord with me immensely. So the reason why this movie is astounding and groundbreaking and edgy for its time is because it talks about the sense of morality, finding out your faith, having faith during the Black Plague, but also knowing that when your time is running out, or it has run out, was this all worth it? So in the medieval times in Sweden, this knight is approached by the angel of death, letting him know that his time is up. But then the knight offers to play a game of chess for his own life. But this movie really delves deep into the very fact that all of us are trying to find out how we can have faith in challenging times, also how to rediscover ourselves, also how to maintain that faith, but also goes through many different religious innuendos. And then it also tells you how they treated people that were considered witches during that time that they would burn them literally on the stake by the church, right? So it's really interesting to see this movie and how it's aged so well and that the performances are great and the writing is fantastic. The performances by all of the actors are so good. Even the one that plays the angel of death, even the main character, the Lord in that movie. And also the very fact that this movie really presents many different conversations of life, of death, of lust, of greed, of giving in to temptations, bad omens, light and dark. So it has this contrast of heaven and hell. So it's really interesting to see this within this movie and there was also even a character in the movie where they would have psychic visions and things of that nature. So it comes from many different sides of the spectrum. It presents many different realms of thought, many realms of philosophy. And it also really just lets you know that nobody really has life figured out. And I think that's what's bombastic about this movie and how it's amazing still to this day. And I only watched it once and I do believe that it's one of the best movies ever made. Uh, it's really worth a listen. It's really worth a try to watch it, try to live through it. But living through it is almost like a pure state of ecstasy and bliss and poetry and scenes that leave you really thinking about all the concepts that I just laid out. I mean, conceptually, this movie is powerful. And it really just leaves you with a sense of feeling complete as a whole body of work. Even as a person that explores spirituality, I think anybody could watch this movie and get some sort of feeling or vibration or a sense of morale within watching it. It really makes you see what kind of a person you are, how to see through the illusion, but also to see was your time here really worth it and is there a God? So within meditation, within spirituality, these are conversations, not only within the Christian community, even the scientific community, could watch this movie and really gain something from it because it really shows that even during the time of the Black Plague, it shows that we can really have faith and that we can have a light at the end of the tunnel. So I think that this movie is definitely worth a watch. It struck a chord with me so immensely because I watched the end of it and it just left me in awe. I think Lightworkers, Christians, scientific community, you should all watch it. It's a great movie.